special? Uh, the great specialty about Mosel Riesling is definitely um, the, uh, the mix of minerality, acidity and fine uh, natural residual sweetness. These three components together create a unique wine profile. The wines are light, which means low in alcohol. The wines have a fantastic fruit. They have a sweetness, but they don't taste sweet. They taste really fruity and uh, the acidity gives it an incredible liveliness and uh, 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 above all that the wines can age for many decades and that's the special specialty about the wines. And what are the challenges of producing a great Riesling from the Rosa? The challenges are to find the right balance, uh, first of all, the balance of ripeness, which means you want to have you want a good ripeness, uh, and then to um, have the right amount of residual sweetness in order to have a wine that is not lacking of sweetness, which means where the acidity sticks out. But you also don't want to have a really sweet wine. You want a wine that is perfectly balanced and a wine that um, um, can age for a long time uh, and can keep this balance for a long time. What's your secret to great Riesling aroma? My secret for great Riesling aroma is to work the vineyard in a way that you really look at it as a gardening, an intensive soil work, a very precise canopy management, and a long, long, long ripeness, which is in a cool climate like the Mosel being located on the 50th parallel, um, a good thing to achieve a long ripeness. And what are you thinking about the 2009? The, the 2009, so far, uh, the actual status is uh, perfect, it's wonderful. We have just the right um, amount of uh, lower yield compared to the vintages before that you need for an extraordinary vintage. Grapes are nice and healthy. The summer was not too hot, not too dry. We always had the right amount of, uh, of humidity or the right amount of water in the soil. Uh, we uh, never had dry or drought stress, and uh, but it also it was never uh, too hot in a way that the grapes would the leaves would close and close up and not metabolize anymore. Um, and now we're hoping for dry weather from from now on till hopefully mid of November. <laughs>